What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. A super quick and easy C5 Corvette mod that will pertain to other freaks of nature like myself. I'm six foot seven. If you're like five foot six, this probably won't help you at all. But for those of you who are six foot plus, being six foot seven, I think I fit fairly decent in the Corvette, believe it or not. The only thing that gets in my way are these sun visors. Here's a clip. Alright, so I'm using my iPhone since my big camera just does not fit in this car whatsoever. This is what, it, I'm going to hold the phone up to my eye level and this is what I look at right now. I'm looking at the sun visor. Now if I remove the sun visor, which I will do here in a second, move it over to the side, this is now what I look at. A lot cleaner, a lot nicer. I have all this extra space up here, and that's the whole point of this video. And I generally wouldn't film such a super boring thing just removing the sun visors of a car, but the only reason why I am, because Corvette Clips, now this isn't paid at all, I paid like 12 bucks for these online, Corvette Clips, they make a 3D printed clip that goes into where the sun visors once went, and it just gives it like a OEM look, a nice and clean look, because when you pull the sun visors down, there's a little hole, there's also a wire that comes down that, that, because that plugs into your sun visor to make the light work. So that's the only reason why I'm filming this, because I'm getting rid of the sun visors, putting these in. I wanna see how good these look, how well they fit, and how good of a finish it looks, you know, like OEM, I guess, if you will. And for anybody who is like, John, what if the sun hits you in the face? you must be five foot six because everybody's six foot above. We've never used a sun visor once in our lives. Like my girlfriend sits in a passenger seat, she always flips that thing down. I've never used one and us tall guys are always staring at the very top of the windshield anyways. The sun don't hit there. So I'm not worried about it whatsoever. It's gonna help me, it's gonna give me the visual aid that I need to get us from destination A to B safely. And also the car is getting tinted in like two days. So I have a fetish now with full windshield tint, so I don't worry about no sun visors at all. All right, so if you go into the car itself now, mind you, it's, there's no, obviously not a lot of room in the Corvette. Here's your visors. And I'm gonna just do the mod real quick because I have nowhere to set my camera down. Legit, put your screwdriver in there, pop that out. This should fold down. There's a little wire down there for the, bam, for those lights to work. Pull the whole assembly out. We're gonna put these clips in real fast. There and there, of course. The only thing I'm gonna to have to uh, figure out is where to put my garage door opener, but that's, uh, that's a moot point, really. Pull these guys out, put these clips in, show you what it looks like, go for a quick drive, and that is legit it. A few moments later. All right, sun visor down. You pretty much just use two screwdrivers or one screwdriver to rotate this counterclockwise till it kind of falls out. And see what I'm saying? All you have is your one wire. So we will disconnect that wire, disconnect that wire like so. And then our parts from Corvette clips are right here. Like I said, I'm pretty positive these are 3D printed. Uh, one of these, one of these, hopefully looks OEM. This part here is pretty easy. I just push the wires up in to hide it. And then you'll take this little clip from Corvette clips and just kind of press it up in its place. Uh, boom. Just like that, and that does look super clean. And then, I didn't realize it, but this part right here, this part right here, I was wondering what this went to, and turns out they thought of everything. So this little piece here, where the sun visor clips into, this comes off, so I gotta go grab a quick socket for that. And this goes in its place to make this look, well, to get rid of that part too. I didn't even think about that. All right, so this guy actually comes off with like a little six millimeter socket. And then the new one from Corvette Clips goes right up in there. And I'll throw that screw back in. We'll see how she looks. And that's it, that's pretty clean. So this goes in place of this guy. And then of course this here, that does look pretty damn OEM, goes in place of that guy there. So legit, I'm not gonna bore you anymore. I'm gonna do this side myself. We'll go for a drive, see how it looks. And yeah, that'll be it. Pretty clean setup. All right, and this is the final product, and this is my view. Much more space. It looks super clean. Like, that's the whole reason why I've done this. OEM Plus, 
if you ask me. These turned out really well, those clips right here, and then those, those as well. It just looks clean, a good view. Don't gotta worry about those pesky uh, visors in my way anymore. Shout out to Corvette Clips. All right guys, and that is it. Super simple, quick, and easy mod. Five minute mod for the C5 guys that are tall like myself. I just hit my camera off my light. Once again, shout out to Corvette Clips. I'm gonna link the Corvette Clips that I just bought in the description below, because that is super clean. That is OEM Plus if I've ever seen it. And I think they look great. So awesome, uh, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the family, join the uh, Corvette gang, man. I'll see y'all guys next week, peace.